Hey everybody, uh, everybody is watching it, those of you that don't watch, uh, there's some materials that we're going to use to make a sleeve hitch to all this uh, box scraper for doing our graded driveway up in the Nantahala. It's uh, pretty much washed out. See the hook up on it. It does not match the hook up on the trailer. And yes, this tractor is the same, the same one that we uh, used for cutting down the brush in the backyard. If you happen to watch that video. Okay, I'm going to uh, uh, when we get further along into it, I'll make a breakdown of the parts that I used and a, a finished uh, picture of you know what it's. Uh, what the drawing was that I used and uh, what it's supposed to look like. Actually, this drawing here, I don't know whether you can see it, it's off right out here. Uh, basically, what I used for uh, buying the parts. And I still came out, if you look here, I got some half inch lock dots, nylon, nylock, uh, 3 8 a bunch of 3 8 washers, a bunch of half inch washers, some long bolts to hold it on to the, the, uh, to hold the, the hitch on. And uh, a long piece of pipe for the handle, two shorter pieces. There's the marks in the, in the middle of it right here. Well, not exactly in the middle because I didn't get it set up, but just did that for reference point for me. And that three quarter inch pipe is going to be welded. Shut you off a couple of minutes and set up outside so I can dress that steel up a little bit. This is half inch pipe, the 
hole is almost 5-8 inside. Uh, I'm going to have to run a drill bit through it because it'll go halfway through and then it gets stuck. I'm just going to have to clean some burrs out. And it's going to go right in here with the pin down through it. See if we can get there. Trim that other part out. Here's nine inches of the plate that's going to go right on there. With three bolts through it. One, two, three. One of these on each side. I'll round them off. They're going to have a half inch bolt run. Part that hooks the swivel and goes like this with the plate across the end and that pipe welded to it. And that's pretty much all we can do for that drill press here. The drill press is up the other house. I'm sorry about that, but it's going to take a while before it gets finished. Bye. Okay, we got the holes drilled in the framework. Next time we get together, we're going to be welding it together and uh, we're going to bend that one piece of metal. I got a question for anybody. Now, I took a picture of this box scraper the other day. Did anybody notice? I had the box itself on backwards on the framework. Uh, I didn't notice it until I was editing the movie. And <laughs> Hey everybody, how are you today? This morning, put all the pieces together and they just tack weld it together. So, I'm going to have to finish it up. I'm going to explain what these are. This is the plate that goes on the back of the tractor. This is the pin that goes in the pin goes in here that goes in the hitch. These were the two 10 inch pieces. This was a 9 inch piece. And this was a five inch piece. And what I did was I put a nickel in here and I just tacked it in place. I'm going to weld it solid. That's to make it more rigid. Uh, I'm going to turn around and show you hooking it back up. And then uh, I'm going to weld it up solid and mount it on. So hold on just a second and we'll show you sticking it in the hitch.
going to ship to. I'm not going to bore you anymore. Uh, <coughs> what I'm going to do is let that cool down a little bit and uh, you know, mount it on the tractor. And uh, I'll just spray it in place you know, on the tractor and black paint. I'm not going to do that until we show you what happens. Okay, shut you down. Bye. Yeah.